I'm a bit shocked. Um, on the other hand, maybe it's a front because we know that he's a master in uh, creating fronts. So maybe it's a front to push products in, in the community. <laughs> I don't know. He's back. He's back. Now Big as pun. a Big pun. Big Ponzi, you mean. <laughs> Big Ponzi is back as an Uber driver here. RJ, the, I mean, we, we've been covering, we've been following this story quite closely for the, the for the past few, uh, past few months. And uh, there hasn't been a lot of updates, but the streets is always listening and always has his eyes open. And apparently the guy is... Um, He's applied for for being an Uber driver. I mean, you gotta make ends meet some way, somehow, while you're waiting trial. I'm a bit shocked. Um, on the other hand, maybe it's a front because we know that he's a master in uh, creating fronts. So maybe it's a front to push products in in the community. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hey guys, before we proceed with this topic, let us know your thoughts and opinions. Remember to uh, hit the like button, follow us on other socials, and don't forget to subscribe and the notification bell as well. But yeah, so I was a bit surprised. Or at least I'm a bit surprised to hear it. I hear you say it right now. They didn't know it. And before the show, you said, hey, we need, um, you changed something, uh, but you weren't gonna, you told me that it was Caesar Pia, but you didn't tell me what it was. Uh, I thought I'd, I thought something else, to be honest. I didn't thought it would be, I, I think some, I thought it would be like another scam story. I didn't think it, that it would be such a sad story. You, you mean you mean it's sad that that the the big Ponzi scheme, well, alleged Ponzi scheme uh, uh, manager is is going legit? Is that sad? You want to see him crash out? Is that is that it, RJ? I thought I thought that they would. I thought that he would be prosecuted and in jail before him being an uber driver so uh yeah hey, he needs but that's always the like phone. the thing right with white collar crime it always takes a lot of time before the prosecution takes place. i wouldn't know i wouldn't know you you know better than me about that i know i only know that when they get locked up they cry because they know what's what's waiting for them. and as uh My uncle, my Cuban uncle, Joey Diaz, used to say, Big, big D in your ass is bad, bad for your health. Uh, anyway, uh, let's, let's talk about the whole story. Let's start from the top. Um, Caesar was a real estate mogul. That's how he presented himself. Had a high life with celebrity friends. Um, and now he's, my oh man, he's applied. He has applied for driving Uber and Lyft. Which is kind of so shocking. But it also shows you how you can fall from grace. You can fall from being at the high point. Being the guy who was visiting uh, the breakfast club. Telling about your great stories. About being a, a great real estate mogul. And here you are couple of years months later and you've been accused of running a multi-million dollar ponzi scheme in addition to also um i mean dragging other people down in your abyss i mean whether whether he's involved directly involved or not dj envy is also being uh uh being implicated in this in this ponzi scheme being an accessory, as they say, uh, to to, get, to leading people down that that uh, that funnel, that sales funnel, <laughs> sales funnel. <laughs> he he was just a, a funnel, <laughs> it seems like, and and he 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 they helped each other, right? You had Caesar who went to DJ as one of the biggest name in the music and radio industry, 
um, and together they embarked on this journey. Um, supposedly a win-win situation for both, uh, where he had the the, the mic, DJ Envy, uh, Caesar was the brain or the guy with 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 the information how people can go forward uh, by 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 commingling entertainment with business. Uh, they thought they were unstoppable, and and here we are. I mean, seems like yeah, and you, you and I, and you and I had like a disagreement. I think we still do. We still do have that disagreement relating to Envy's role in the whole thing, because yep. uh, as I, because if there, if it's Payola, then I agree with you. But you said that. You think that Envy is as culpable because he should have done the proper research on Caesar before he started endorsing him. And my point was, yeah, but I don't know if he... Uh, I mean, there's only so far as you can go before you start endorsing someone. It was like a discussion uh, yeah. relating to that point. And it's... Uh, but there are certain rules in essence, right? So when you're doing especially if you're getting paid to do a, an ad or if you're gonna support someone or tell someone to do something you need to make sure it, like it's very important how you present it so if you create so i do agree with you on uh that if you create the illusion that you're working together and it's a partnership and people trust you then people will also automatically trust him because yep. they'll say oh if he trusts you then you should be good uh, but it's that's why let's say in a, in in what you should do is when you're giving when you're promoting something and say this is an ad let's go this is an ad of our uh, an ad from our sponsor and then someone can clearly distinguish you from the ad but if you present it as, as, if, as if it's something that you believe in and i think envy did say i work with you and and, and you know i work with caesar or invested with him etc but i think envy won't uh, get any time i think envy no, snitched probably a won't. Won't. He, he already cooperated as yeah as... he did not snitch but <laughs> he, cooperate he was, yeah he he was the one who who basically hammered on six nine when he was cooperating with the police calling him all types of snitches I think I think him cooperating in this situation makes him almost at the same level as as uh, six nine. But anyway, I'm, I'm, it's not the, neither here nor there. Um, I do still believe the same. I think at a certain point you have you have a certain, and it's not legal, right? This is this is just a certain level of duty as as a as a influencer towards your own community because this is this is not all, <laughs> I don't care about him actually I don't care about him it's about his community the people who trust him you have a certain if you want to protect your brand and this is why more about protecting your brand if you want to protect your brand you want to take that extra step to verify if someone is the real deal or not and whether someone who has been uh, has been involved with with scams in the past, in in dodgy businesses, crazy stuff. You want to know that more to protect your own brand because I, I, I'll tell you this much. I'm pretty sure that people right now, if if Envy endorses anything, they they won't believe them. They'll say, "Hey man, last, last time you endorsed Caesar, <laughs> people got hammed up." So it's, I understand what you're saying. I still believe that it's a personal thing. If you want to, if you want to run a business properly, you want to do that extra step. You want to make sure that whoever you're dealing with, you you know who they are. You already know who, what their character is. You know what they've done in the past. The problem is, and here comes the biggest problem, is that when you go the guy already told the story from the stop jump that um, he, he he went into jail and that's when he learned about this. That becomes a problem at that point because then he's already telling you, I've been into dodgy business before, but I've bettered my life. Who knows? 
then you leave it open in that situation and then it's the question whether you have to trust them or not but at the end uh, um, I'm someone I believe in second chances but not always so um, at the end it's your own brand I'm pretty sure no one is gonna gonna believe envy in the future so he he but by not doing that that extra verification has will, will probably de- well destroy his credibility at least 